Hey YouTube, what is up? And today I'm going to show you how to get a Minecraft bucket server. Okay, so let's just go over what this will work with. Okay, here's all the things that it's going to work with. It's going to work with Linux, Solaris, Windows. Um, I, I'm not seeing Mac, so I guess it doesn't work with Mac. But if it, uh, I think Mac and Linux are the same thing because Mac was based off of Linux. So, yeah, but... um. I'm doing a Windows build, so I'm, this will work for Windows, I know for a fact, um, but I'm not seeing Windows uh, 8 or anything, so this should just be for Windows 7, I believe. No, it just says Windows, so it's going to work for Windows. So, so, yeah, this should work for Windows 8, I'm not for sure, guys, but... Um, I, I'm doing Windows 7, so I know for a fact that's going to work for Windows 7. This is going to be a bucket server for 1.7.2, it says, but this will also work with 1.7.4, which is the new update out right now at the moment as I'm making this video. So let's get started. You want to click Start, and you want to type in CMD. You want to hit Enter, and it's going to load up the command prompt. You want to type in IP config. Type that in. Hit Enter. Now, this is where we got to go right here it's going to say default gateway and it's going to say this you right here you want to memorize that yours might be the same it might be different it depends on your uh i guess your modem because mine is uh link skis uh cisco cisco link skis whatever you want to call it now you also want to memorize this ip4 address now this ip4 address is not the address that you type in on minecraft want to ask you for an address this is not this is different I will show you in a minute what address it, it's looking for okay this is your IP address this is like okay so this right here is your modem basically and it's your gateway so it's gotta go, this right here has gotta go from your modem to your computer this right here is your, your computer address these last three numbers is it identifying which computer the modem needs to connect to to allow say my friend is on his computer his computer's connected to his modem his modem's going to connect through the wireless internet of technology junk and it's going to connect through my modem and it's going to come to my computer these last three numbers so that's basically how it works so just write this down and write down those last three numbers now let's go ahead and port forward always the fun part now this was loading up slow but I reset my internet so now it should yep loads up real fast so you want to type in the default gateway right here typed it in up there see I typed it in now for link skis it's gonna be locked every now and then or actually it will be locked normally the username it, by default is admin you can try password is admin or admin password or for the password you can put in the password that you already set it as so mine's admin and the password that I use to type in my my pass my password for whenever I connect to the internet so this is gonna load up and it's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff and we're just gonna get to the basics of what we need to do to create this server that we need to create and yes yeah, stuff like that and it's starting to be slow on me again nope no okay wow well, loaded up a lot faster than what it did okay so now once you get here and even if you're not running or not using link skis or cisco router just look for something that says application and gaming or port forwarding see up here it says single and well it says yeah single port forwarding as you see right there and you want to find something that says port forwarding single port forwarding just something okay so now we're here now I don't know what this junk is right here but you want to go to the first bar right here and you're gonna type in what the name of it is I should use a capital M just for reasons now see it says minecraft that's that 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 identifies you can put whatever you want this just lets me know oh this is my minecraft server that's running okay now the external port is two 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 five five six five which is default by minecraft and I will show you where to find that at once you load up your server. Now, see right here, all you need is the last three numbers. My last three numbers are 103. So, guess what? I'm going to type that in right here, 103. And, of course, you want to enable it. Now, right here, it says protocol. Um, it, it might say TCP or UDP. You just 
if you have both, click both. If not, use one or the other. I don't think it really matters. Just, just if you can use both, which you you should be able to in today's technology and stuff. So you want to click save, and you go ahead and click continue, and you can go ahead and X out of this. All right, now what is the next step? Uh, you can go ahead and X out of your uh, command prompt. Now go to the internet. Now click on the first link in the description that says uh, Java SE. Now you want to click I accept the license agreement, and you want to click um, the Windows 64 bit if you have Windows 64 bit, or if you have the X86. Uh, I think that might be the 32 bit. I'm not for sure. It might be my computer. Yes, my computer, then properties. Okay, here it is. See, it says system type 64 bit operating system. There we go. That, that's that's what you need to know. See, it says 64 bit. Okay, now, you want to click that right here, and you're going to run it. I already have it, already ran it. So just run that. And after you run that, you want to click on the second link in the description. And you want to click right here where it says development build 1.7.2. Run that. So I'm going to go ahead and run that with y'all because I deleted my server. Now you want to click save. It's going to do this. It's going to blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. All right. So now while that's doing that, we can go to your desktop. Right click, click new, click folder and you just want to name it whatever I'm gonna put Minecraft oh well, well what I do hey calm down don't get your panties in a watch now I'm gonna put Minecraft server just to let it know what I'm trying to call it and I'm gonna click in it I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna click new text document all right now let's go to this text document you want to get Go back to the internet, click on the third link in the description, which is going to say, um, it's probably going to be the server code is what it's going to say. And now this is what I'm saying uh, whenever, okay, so you have your Windows code right here. That's what we need because we're running Windows, and there's your Linux and your Mac. Okay, but I'm showing you how to use Windows, so we're going to copy this right here. Now there's going to be some other stuff I need to tell you about this. So we're going to copy that in here. Control C just to copy, Control V to paste. Now, um, I found it better and actually easier to actually just delete this little part right here. My friend told me to do that, so y'all do the same thing. It doesn't mess up your server or anything. Now, the other thing in here is right here, these where it says 1024, that's your RAM. Okay, so here's the numbers of RAM. I went up to 8, but uh, if if you think about it, one gigabyte, okay, that this is how much one gigabyte is. If you want two gigabytes, add this and just times that by two and then you'll get this right here. If you wanna figure out, say I don't have eight say say I don't have because I don't have ten gigabytes on here. We'll just take this number and add one gigabyte and there's your answer, okay? That's how you get nine gigabytes and just keep adding, okay? Um but I'm gonna be adding four gigabytes, so it's gonna be four oh nine six. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it right there. And now I'm going to click file, save as and put uh start dot bat. Now uh, I put start dot bat but all you really need is dot bat just put whatever you want right here but it, it's easier to remember start because this is how you start up your server you know so just put start dot bat and if you have problems well then you might want to come change it and put start dot bat because you should be able to change anything but the dot bat just make sure you have dot bat and click save and you can go ahead and X out of this and you can go ahead and delete this text document now here she is right here you can go ahead and minimize that go back to the internet because by the time you get done doing this your craft bucket would already be done. Okay, so once it says that it's done downloading, you want to click open a folder. Click it. Minimize the internet. And let's go ahead and open up the folder that we created. This is start bat in it. Okay, so now we take this right here. Now we drag in here. Um, hold on, I don't like the way this is let out. Let's put a list. Thank you. We're gonna click rename. And we're going to delete everything to that right there. Um, so th this is where 
I've had some people have trouble and have not trouble. Okay, so if your server does not work, then you want it to delete the dot jar. But for me, keeping the dot jar works. But on my laptop, I had to delete the dot jar, which is pretty weird. But if it says something like this, let's click on it again. If it says something like this, if you delete the dot jar, and it says something mm -hmm. like this, just click no and keep the dot jar. But just make sure it says craft bucket, just craft bucket, and you might as well just go ahead and leave the dot jar. All right, so report forwarded. We downloaded everything. We had, we got this, the coding. We added up, we changed up our RAM. Now here comes the part, the fun part. Just click on, double click on start dot bat. Let the server install all the stuff. Run all the worlds, the plugins, and all that. Let see it's it's going. It's, it's running 48 percent, 6 percent. Just let that all load up. And it takes a while for the first time, but it's not going to take this long whenever you're going to restart it. Okay. Now, it really didn't take that long, actually. <laughs> but I have a, a pretty high-end computer that I built, so that's probably why. Now, to stop the server, since we deleted that little pause stuff, you want to type in stop, and as you see, it's going to say saving, saving, and all that, and it's going to say stopping. Okay, now, see, now you have all these weird files, right? Well, if you let's put it this way, you have all these files. You have your you have your logs, plugins. If you want to install some plugins, you have your royal your royal <laughs> royal world. I can't say I can't say this right right now. World, world nether, world the end, which is world in, which is the ender dragon, I guess. Then you have your band player IPs, and you have your band players. So. There's your bucket, there's your craft bucket and all that. Okay, so now what we really only care about is the plugins and the servers and whatnot. Let's just go to server properties. Now, like I said, whenever we report forwarding, if your server port's different, it would say it right here. Server port 25565, which is what I said it was. Um, Now, where it says server IP, do not mess with that at all. Just leave it blank, leave it blank, leave it blank. Um, no, but you can read through this and mess around with it. Generate, blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Allow query, allow flight. Well, allow flight is basically, if someone's flying in the world, I guess a hacker hack into where they can fly in survival, they will get kicked from the game. Now, announce player achievements. This really does get annoying. I don't care who's taking inventory or whatever for the first time. I'm putting false. Your level type... Uh, you can put that whatever you want. Mine's on default. Um, ring, enable Archon. I don't know what that is. Not for sure. There's your level seed. You can put level seed. Force game mode. I'm I'm guessing this is if, say, um, you wanted nothing but survival and someone's in crate. This is going to force them to go back in survival. Your max build height. You can change that. Spawn in NPCs. True. Yes. Whitelist. Okay. Whitelist. This right here. This is very important. Um, say, okay, not say. Over here where it says whitelist. Whoever I type in right here is going to be able to join the game. And if they're not in that list, they will be kicked. That's why it's false. So anyone is going to be able to join the game. If they have your public IP address, well, I'll show you how to get in a minute. Spawn animals, I like that on true. Hardcore, false, uh, stuff right here. On online mode. Um... Well, the online mode, this right here, the command, it said something about zero true pause. Well, just this would force the game mode back into true, or online mode back into true, but we can change that to false. If someone who doesn't have the full version, has a cracked version, should be able to join. I said should. Now you can install resource path, PvP, difficulty. I'm um, just leave that as one. Command blocks. I love command blocks. I use a lot of command blocks. I'm putting true and your game mode. That's this is your default game mode. Um, I'm gonna leave it in survival just in case I'm not on the server, but someone else is. Uh, that even though it's my friend likes to jack around with a lot of stuff, I'm gonna leave it on zero because I might not off them. Now your player idle timeout. This might lag your server just a little bit. 
but um, we can put like two minutes if they're not moving for two minutes maybe 15 15 is a better number because two minutes think about it, the person had to go to the bathroom and it's gonna take a little bit more than two minutes most likely anyway max players well since I have four gigabytes installed I guess I'll go ahead and put 30 players even though I'm not gonna have that much on this server spawn monsters freaking hate monsters hate them unless I'm on a um, survival world but whatever Generate structures, true view distance, uh, yeah, and M uh, M O T D, uh, that's the word of the day. So I'm gonna put R. It'll say it right below your server. Not not the word of the day. It should say it right below your server. I'm gonna just say uh, I'm gonna just say ah, oh, you know, I'm just leave that as normal because I'm not gonna come up with anything to say right now. So you wanna exit out and click save if you made any changes. And well, I guess we can go ahead and show you something real quick okay now let's get on my minecraft run that real quick we'll go ahead and run up the server and we'll go ahead and run this and as you see it's going to say done okay so you can go ahead and minimize that and let's just go ahead and load this up okay so see i already have it typed in right here so we're going to go in actually I'm going to click delete actually I need to look at it real quick <laughs> edit alright so this is going to be blur that that part was just blurred out hopefully because <laughs> I don't want y'all looking at that okay well, anyway I'm going to delete the server anyway okay delete okay so we're going to add a new server so let's say this is you starting out for the first time I'm going to type your name in on that server not your name just whatever you want it and your server IP address. This is where you get your server IP address. You want to go to the internet and you want to, well since we're done with this, we can just go ahead and exit out of that. I'm going to go to google.com and I love Google. All you got to do is type in what is my IP and guess what? Google is going to tell you right here, right there. It's going to tell you what your public IP address. You want to copy that. I'm actually going to go copy that and that part's going to be blurred out now which another good uh, thing to do is if you want to distribute your IP address just type in noip.com okay so now I'm going to show you how to change it change your IP to give to your friends without them doing a whole bunch of stuff and crashing your server so we're going to type you're going to create an account first but since I already have an account, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And I'm going to go to manage host. And since I already have this, I'm going to remove it. And my IP address popped up again. Holy crap, that's a lot of blurring out. Whatever. So, whenever you create an account, you just want to go to add a host. And what's your host name? Mine's going to be Kason Ray. Because uh, that's my YouTube name. I'm just going to put Kason Ray. And you can change it up here. Just make sure it says no IP. No IP free demo, demo, <laughs> domain names and whatever's below it's free so I'm going to put servegame.com and it's going to put your IP address right there for you there you go it already typed it in for you sometimes you might have to copy it and you can just click add host now you can go ahead uh, after that you might want to click a uh, download client and download that and after you download that just to make sure I have it installed and actually I don't have it installed what the crap where is it at where's my client my client oh actually I don't have client alright well let's go ahead and download the client I'm gonna run that it don't take long to download it all there it is bam bam I agree install next after it gets done installing finish and it's gonna launch okay so now you wanna you want to sign in with your email address that you use whenever you cr were creating an account. Type in your password. It's going to authorize it. And you want to click edit host. And you want to check the one that you just created and click save. And it's going to have a whole bunch of check marks. And you can just go ahead and X out of this. And you can go ahead and X out the internet. And it's going to be right here if you ever need to access it again. So just note that and I am nope that's actually my server okay so now we can go back to minecraft 
and we can type in what we put. I put case in ray dot serve game dot com. Did I type that in there? Serve game dot com. Yes. So we can click done, and we're gonna. As you see, I was gonna click refresh, but uh, as you see, it loaded up without typing in my IP. So which is really good because all I gotta do is give a whole bunch of people my IP, but I, I'm not actually telling them my IP. I'm telling them uh. I'm telling them a, no, a name which they can't figure out the numbers and which and get in and hack my router. So now another thing is I probably should go back. I'm gonna show you how to opt yourself just in case you don't know how. Just in case you want to go to your little server thing, you want to type in op. You don't need to put the the forward slash. Just put op and type in the name of your person or username on Minecraft, and it's gonna say opt. Well, now you can go back to the game, and as you see, it says that I am up. So now I'm going to go ahead and change my game mode to one. Even though flight is on false, well, hey, I'm in creative mode, so I can fly. But if I was in survival and I was flying, then it'd probably end up kicking me from the game. Alrighty, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will get back to you on that. Um. Like I said, I don't know if it works with Windows 8 or not. I am not for sure. and uh, But you can tell me if it does. So, if it, if it works, good. I'm glad it did. And if it didn't, well, I'm sorry. Uh, this was for Windows 7. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Um, I do a lot of gaming. I do a lot of gaming over here as you see all these things highlighted. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, and also if you have any questions, like I said, leave a comment and uh, well, have a nice day.